Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Thursday, April 6th. It's almost 11.30, I'm about to leave. I actually just ended the last vlog, so I'm in the literal same outfit I ended the last vlog in. But um, like I mentioned at the end of the last vlog, I've had a very productive day so far. Productive week, really. In the last vlog, I cleaned out my closet and reorganized it, and that like made me feel so good. I think that really amped up the rest of the week. So I was very productive. It was a good week. Today's a good day. I woke up early. I went to the gym at 7:30. Did legs. Came home, showered, got ready, filmed a TikTok. Like it's not even noon, and she's productive. I'm about to go to lunch with my friend Bree. I'm so excited. Um, she's the one. If you remember, I don't know how long ago that was. Definitely some vlogs ago. Um, me and Vic went to lunch with her and her husband and her husband just so happens to be friends with my ex they went to high school together but I don't think they like kick it that much anymore but me and her are mad cool and we're like twins we're the same height same size both Scorpios birthdays a couple days apart like we're the same. So we've become close friends and we're gonna go grab some lunch in Addison. And yeah, this is the fit. I'm just wearing some wide leg jeans, this little classy network top. I have this jacket because it's kind of chilly outside today. It's like in the 50s. And I've got my little purse. But I'm about to leave now and actually be early. I'm not always late, but I am always like right on time and it stresses me out. So. I'm actually gonna be early, but I'm excited to have a little girl, girl lunch moment where we can catch up on all the things. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. This day has been so nuts already. This morning, y'all, Luna almost got eaten by a dog. She's okay, she's right here. You live to see another day. So this is what happened. Let me tell the story while I get myself some food. Okay, so this morning, I go to take Luna out for a walk. I should really bring this all over here. So first, we're outside for like not even one minute, okay? And an Amazon driver comes. Luna is fine when a car drives by. She's not fine if someone gets out of a car, okay? So the Amazon driver passes us, and I'm like, perfect, he's not stopping here. He's just gonna like circle the block or something. But no, he passes us, but then he stops. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And he gets out of the Amazon truck, and Luna books it back to the house. She knows which houses are, so she sprints back to her house. Whenever she gets scared and sprints back to the house, I just let her leash go because I can't run as fast as she's running and then the collar is like choking her and she's like trying to run and her tail's all fat and everything. So as soon as she does that sprint, she knows where to go. It's usually not far from me in the house so it's not like a car is gonna come out of nowhere. Like we're on like a private street or whatever. So that happened, I let go of her. She runs to the door. I like jog after her and I let her back in the house because by the time she's at the door, she's like leaning up against the door like let me in this bitch. I'm scared. So I let her in the house. She's right inside the door, like tail fat. I'm like, she was outside for two seconds. If I don't take her back out and finish her walk, she's gonna be yelling at me all day to go back outside. So I wait for the Amazon driver to deliver whatever he's delivering. When we go back outside, we are on the side of our house. We're like in one spot. I'm not really moving. She's just like smelling stuff. She likes to roll around and like get all dirty and stuff. So she's doing that. In the corner of my eye, I see a dog. The people behind us is their dog. The problem is they let this dog out. Mind you, none of us have backyards. So they always just let their dog out in the open. Like, no restrictions. They don't put him on a leash. Luna. Okay. They don't put him on a leash. They also don't let their dog out in the sense of they open the door and stand there and wait for their dog to go to the bathroom and then call him back in. When they let their dog out, he's just out running around like the streets with no leash and no human supervision. So like when you see that black and white dog, he's just outside by himself chilling. So I'm on the side of our house with Luna and I see that black and white dog in the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh shit. Because we're not far from our house. Like I said, we're on the side of our house, but we're also like not that close. Luna does not see the dog. She's like rolling around. She has no clue what's happening. The dog is staring at her, but he's just standing still like this. 
And I'm standing still like, if we start moving and running, he's gonna start moving and running. So we're just standing still, Luna's rolling around on the floor, and I'm staring at the dog. I also had trash in my other hand. So I have Luna's leash in one hand and a handful of trash in the other hand. Cause as we were on our walk, I saw some trash. And like, this is my neighborhood. I'm not just gonna walk by this trash. So I picked it up. So my hands are full. The dog all of a sudden busts out into a full sprint towards us. And I was like, oh my God, I dropped the trash. I swooped up Luna so fast. She still doesn't know what's going on. She still doesn't see the dog. And I'm running to our house, to our door. And the dog is running at me. This is a medium sized dog, but this dog isn't super friendly. I've tried to pet it before and he barked at me. So I'm sprinting, I get to the door, I open the door, I throw Luna inside, like literally toss her in there. I'm still on the porch. When the dog sees me, but not Luna, he stops. And then he just like, turns around and leaves. I open the door and Luna's standing there like, what the fuck? And she's meowing at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so funny. So then because she had no clue why I just forced her, like threw her back in the house, I took her back outside again and we finished the walk. But I was like looking at her like, girl, you have no clue that you just almost got eaten. Cause I can guarantee this dog was not coming to sniff Luna. Now I gotta tell Vic, like when he walks her, cause that's never happened. Like anytime we walk her, people are either walking their dogs, but the dog is on a leash and they keep their dogs like away from Luna. Like they're very sweet and very respectful that we're walking our cat or whatever. But we've never been outside with Luna when that black and white dog has been outside off leash. But yeah, quite the eventful morning, <laughs> but all good. I'm about to watch a few episodes of Married at First Sight and just relax until I decide I wanna edit because I really do need to get a lot of editing done today. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that story because it was like the craziest thing that's happened to us in this neighborhood so far. But look at this girl, she's just fine. She survived and she doesn't have any trauma because she literally doesn't even know what happened. Hi. You almost died today, girl. Good morning, gang. It is Saturday and my days are all <laughs> conjumbled in my head. I don't even know if that's a word. All day yesterday, I kept thinking it was Saturday and that today was Sunday, but this is like a long weekend. I think it's cause Friday, like people, it was good Friday. So tomorrow's Easter, yeah? I don't even know. It is, okay. We don't really, we don't like celebrate Easter or anything or like that was more of a when I was a kid thing, but it's Saturday, April 8th, which is also throwing me off. Like I keep forgetting it's April. I keep thinking it's still March. And even when I do remember it's April, I keep thinking that it's like April 2nd, like still the very, very beginning of April and we're already getting, it's the 8th, like that's weird. But it's 8.37, I'm about to leave for pottery. Oh, but in the last vlog, I think it was the last, vlog when I showed you, pretty sure it was the last vlog, that I showed you the new dish rack I got on Amazon. I love it so much, look. It looks so much better. I wish I had the other one that we had here just to show you the comparison. But again, the other one was black and just not as cute. It was like gross. And this just makes the whole area ignore Vic's electronics, but it just makes the whole counter space look like lighter and cleaner. I'm all about the vibes these days, like cleaning out my closet, like really helped. And then this, such a small, excuse me. Hi girl, such a small thing, but it really like brightened the area, you know? Hi. Hi girl. Oh my goodness, it's a baby girl. Say hi, booty. Oh, you say hi? Yeah. I always hold her like this. All my other cats I held like this, but they didn't like stand up on my hands. I don't know why she stands up on my hands. But then I put my ear on her back and I can hear her purring. But it's cold outside. I don't know what is going on. Like it was literally almost 80. It was like 88 one day a week ago. And now for the past like three days, it's been cold. Like I'm gonna need to put a jacket on over this. The sun has not been out for three days. Make up your mind. Oh my God, I'm so tired. 
Oh, I was like, what is on the TV right now? My hands are all dry from pottery. I got two packages. I'll show you what I got later because my camera is about to die. I also wanted to show you my two pieces of pottery that were done today. This one, I tend to like experiment with the ones that I don't like. So this one's like all kinds of lopsided. So I don't really like it. I didn't like it. So I decided to play around with like this blue color. I think it's coming off more gray on camera, but I don't know if you can see there. It's like blue and then my normal speckled glaze, but it's so lopsided. Like I wanted to just throw this one away, but this one I really like. So this one I put like this wax resistant stuff here so that the glaze wouldn't run down on it. Cause I wanted this part that's down here to be no glaze. And then I did my normal speckled glaze for this part. And then I dipped this part in i don't remember what the name of the glaze was for this one but this is what it looks like it's really cute it has my little stamp on the bottom she's cute so these are my two finished pieces and then i threw two bowls today and yeah i'm really tired i really think i'm about to eat something take a nap and then after that we can see what i ordered and edit and stuff for the rest of the day so i'm so tired Okay, it's a lot of hours later now. <laughs> it's literally se it's seven. I thought it was six. I love when it's still light outside when it's like late. Oh my God, I love it. And aren't they not going back? I heard through the grapevine that the last time change was the last one they were ever gonna do. So it's gonna be like this from now on, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's 7 p.m. I've done no editing today. I need to edit for the rest of the day, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. First are these pants that my friend Brianna, who I went to lunch with the other day, she had texted me. There's no like tear thingy on here. She had texted me a couple weeks ago with a picture and was like, girl, you have to get these pants because me and Brianna are the same height and the same size. So we put each other on to the tall thing. So she had bought these and then sent me a picture of her in them and was like, bitch, you gotta get these. So without hesitation, I bought them. They were also on sale. I think they were maybe like $40, but I got them for 31 or something like that. I can't quite remember, but they're from Old Navy which I never shop at Old Navy. Like even as a kid, we weren't an Old Navy Gap family. No one I knew was actually, so I don't know like what kind of family that was, but <laughs> I never shopped there. So I don't really know like what there, but she said they're from Old Navy and they have them in tall. I don't know if I should have gotten an extra small. If I order another pair, I'll get an extra small so that I have one. I do this a lot. Sometimes I like pants to fit like perfect. So like an extra small. And then sometimes I like them a little baggier. So I'll get it small. I wouldn't call them cargo pants because they're not cargos but they do have a pocket on the side that's cargo like but they're not cargos they're more like they're like wide leg track pants very lightweight so these would actually be good for the spring and the summer super lightweight like um windbreaker material oh and there's a pocket in the back they almost like low-key look like scrubs because you know how scrubs look cooler nowadays they're kind of like cool scrubs she's also a nurse so maybe that's why she loved them but they're really cute. They look cute. I'm not gonna put them on right now. I guess I could, but I don't want to. They are stupid long, like so long. These are cute though. I don't wanna try anything on right now, y'all. I'm still so tired. You know, in college when you didn't sleep for like three days cause you were studying or whatever. And then you go to sleep after that, you just feel like delirious, like unwell. That's how I feel right now. Oh, and then the second package, we got some more stuff from Classy Network. Y'all know I love Classy Network. So they sent me three things. Let's see what we got. Ooh, ooh, this is so me. Okay, we have a short sleeve crop gray shirt with a built-in bra. This is the softest freaking thing. This is giving me Skims vibes. Again, if you've never had Classy Network stuff, everything is always double lined. So it's really thick, really good quality. They usually send me things in a size extra small, but they have all different sizes and you can order different size cup sizes. So if you're like a size small, but then you need large cup sizes or vice versa, you can do that. Love that, that's super cute. Stop. Are they reading my mind? I literally, oh my God. So for the past like year, I wanna say, I always see cute girls on TikTok with bandos. What I also think is really cute is girls now will wear a bandeau to the gym and it's such a fucking vibe. So I put on my list of things I eventually wanna buy, bandos, but I haven't bought any yet. Tell me why they sent me a bandeau. 
This is so cute. And it has the built-in bra, so you don't have to wear one, because you know, strapless is like the main thing we don't want to wear a bra with. So this, double lined, super thick, super stretchy, has the built-in cups, so you don't have to wear a bra. So excited. If this is a black bandeau, I'm gonna scream. Okay, it's not, is it? No, it's not. Ooh, that's cute though. Okay, we have a halter top. I feel like I haven't had a halter top forever. When was the last time I had a halter top? Halter tops were all the rage when we were like, I was probably in middle school, right? When like dresses for homecoming and shit were like halters. Everything was a halter. Love this. Shout out to Classy Network. Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative. I literally love everything. So cute. Okay, it's the next, Luna. It's the next day, I think. I don't think, I, nope, I did not vlog it. Luna, get down. Anyways, <laughs> Luna's literally right behind the camera. It's like she's the cameraman right now. But it's now Monday, Easter Monday, Easter was yesterday. I did not vlog yesterday because I did not do anything. But look at my face. Luna did this to my face today, this morning. It looks worse than it is. I was trying to take her outside, but she hates her harness. Like once her harness is on, she's fine. She doesn't like mess with it or anything, but putting it on her is very hit or miss. Sometimes she doesn't care. She's like so excited. She just stands there and lets you put it on. And some days she just really fights the harness. Like she does not want to put it on. She wants to go outside without the harness, which she cannot do. So today I was trying to put the harness on her. She did not want to put her harness on, so she scratched my face. So I literally was like, bitch, you are not going outside now. But what's done is done. And then I just started tidying up downstairs, like just started. So that's what I'm doing now. I need to leave for an appointment in like, in like 15 minutes. And then after my appointment, I'm gonna go to the gym and everything. And I really wanna be productive today. I really wanna clean up. I'm also gonna cook dinner later. I found some TikTok recipes I wanna do. So we'll do that. And I just wanna have a good productive day. I just wanna do more, you know what I mean? So that's the plan for today. So let's get started. We're gonna clean a little bit and then we'll have to stop and go to my appointment. Um, so I'm back home. I forgot to vlog. <laughs> I was cleaning is what you guys saw and then I was like, oh crap I gotta go and I forgot so I'm back home now. It's 2 30. I'm about to make something to eat and we're gonna go to the gym I saw a comment on the last vlog and they were like, oh, um, can you show like when I go places to to vlog at the places. I can't vlog at like doctor's appointments and stuff, um, but she mentioned like when I go to lunch and stuff with friends and all that. So I don't mind vlogging at like a lunch because I'll just vlog on my phone. I, I don't like to bring my camera to pu public places if I'm by myself. Vic, with Vic it doesn't really matter because he's like used to it. But when I'm going to like a lunch with a bunch of girlies who don't do social media, it's really weird for me to like whip out my camera. And if people are uncomfortable, they might not tell me just because they don't want to be rude. It's just too much. So like I'll vlog on my phone a little bit if I go to like a lunch or something. And then she also asked about the gym. I'm not vlogging in the gym. <laughs> not right now anyway. I will later when I'm like more where I want to be. And I know you guys probably want to see the progression. The problem is I don't want to see the progression. And I'm the one that has to edit all these videos and watch all the clips. And I don't want to see my body right now. So I don't want to film it. It's triggering for me because I my body's not where I want it. Also say I will try to vlog more outside of this house. Um, but right now I'm going to make a hot dog before I go to the gym. Okay, the workout was great. I came home and ate some food. The downstairs is completely clean now. I'm just in a decluttering mindset right now. So even though I very recently went through a lot of my toiletries, it still just doesn't make sense in my head that I have so much of it. Like I literally use the same, I probably use the same like 10 to 15 products and yet I have like 50 products. I'm just not good at like wasting things. So I keep it like 
just in case or so that I can use it eventually and it's not gonna get used. So I really just need to get rid of it. Most of it is probably expired. So I have a trash bag here and I'm just gonna go through the three drawers here and underneath my sink and really declutter. Cause then I can get even less stuff on the countertop. It doesn't look terrible right now. Like it's not bad. <laughs> Maybe it is bad, but it's not bad compared to what it's been before. I just wanna get it even better. You know what I mean? With everyone else, how is that? You gonna have to call your friends, tell them that you're gonna be late, cause I'm gonna need you to explain. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. Cause I could do, I could do better, I could do, I could do better. pretty much done i still want to work on this and getting this with less stuff on it i don't know when i'm looking at it right now it looks fine but when i look at it like in the viewfinder i'm like that looks awful <laughs> but it does look a lot better a lot cleaner a lot of the stuff i had up here is now underneath and a lot of stuff that was underneath is now thrown away okay i'm downstairs ready to cook and this is what i'm cooking so first it's this chicken that i saw on tiktok let us watch together level let me show you how to make my killer crack chicken recipe whisk together some olive oil sesame oil soy sauce worcestershire honey lemon juice garlic ginger and season with your soul then bake at 450 for 35 minutes and love your life okay so that's the chicken at which we have no why is the lighting all weird now? Or maybe it was weird already. <laughs> I have no measurements or actual recipe for this. Just that. I feel so frazzled because I'm like, I don't have enough time to get this done by the time it gets home. But I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to make these potatoes. They're called fondant potatoes. You want to evenly cut the potatoes into these cylinders. Here are the potatoes on both sides until they develop this beautiful golden crust. Now we're going to baste these potatoes in this simmering hot buttered flavor with rosemary and garlic. Fill up the pan halfway through with some delicious stock then throw these in the oven and cook until they're fork tender i'm shooting for the freaking stars here i don't know why and then i want to make these for the vegetables these crispy parmesan carrot sticks are insane and so easy to make slice up your carota into three pieces then have those toss with olive oil garlic grated parm and lots of spices dip the flat side into freshly grated parmesan and roast for 25 minutes now love your life let's do the chicken first we'll do it over here <laughs> Again, I don't have measurements, so I'm just going to wing this and just put everything in there that she said. Olive oil, sesame oil, and soy sauce. I don't want to use too much sesame oil. The more soy sauce, the better, honestly. Worcestershire and honey. Okay, we've got this. And then lemon. I don't know if we have lemon. Um, oh, we do. A little bit of lemon. I feel like that's good. Garlic ginger and seasoning i've got garlic oh my god i can't fucking open it there we go i like garlic so we'll put a good amount garlic oh she said ginger that i don't know oh yeah we have ground ginger period okay let's do this seasoning okay again we're just winging it so we've got ground ginger let's do some onion powder pepper and some of this okay period <laughs> Okay, let's wash the chicken. Luna, please don't yell at me. Let me move everything to one side. Cause you know, salmonella, I could be vegetarian. That's how gross I think meat is. I don't want any comments about how I'm doing something wrong. Cause chances are, I already know. Hi, yay, yay. Germ killer. Luna, can you please not? And I already wiped the counters today, so now I gotta do it again. Trust me, I have a mother who is a germ phobe. If you look up germ phobe in the dictionary, my mother's face is there. Ah, oh, fuck. How is it already 822? I'm just gonna cover this and let it sit for like as long as possible. I think it only takes like 30 minutes to cook. Is it in the fridge? 
In 20 minutes, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Now we gotta do the potatoes, because I know potatoes take hella long. Or I think I should prep both. Let's cut the potatoes and cut the carrots. Let's do that. Let me wash all of this really quick, then we'll chop it. Okay, I lied. I went ahead and chopped everything because I don't have enough battery to show you guys all like the parts that aren't that important. And I wanna show you the good stuff. So I chopped the carrots. Well, I washed the carrots and potatoes, peeled them all, and then chopped them all. So now we've got the potatoes. They're in the pan in some olive oil. And then the potatoes, not the potatoes, the carrots. I chopped them, put some olive oil, put some garlic, and now I'm just adding some Parmesan and some seasoning. So that's where we're at. And it's already 8.43. Vic should be home any minute and I haven't even started cooking anything yet. I need to put the chicken in the oven. Also need to preheat the oven. I have a lot going on. I have a lot going on. I'm gonna spread these out. Do 30 minutes. Oh, I guess I could put these in too. Time for the potatoes. Okay. I'm trying to like clean because I should have cleaned as I went and I did not. I completely destroyed this kitchen. Let me move you guys so you can see. I just don't want them to get stuck. They kind of are. Oh shit, Vic is home. Okay. Everything was finished. Late, but finished. And this is what we have. Chicken, potatoes, and the carrots. And everything is pretty good. Is it five-star restaurant good? Probably not. <laughs> but Vic says it's good. And it was very stressful. And this is why I hate cooking, but I did my best. I'd say it's pretty good. Hello. It's the next day. Let me move y'all back a little bit. It is Tuesday. Earlier this morning, I had my TMJ appointment and checkup or whatever. So today's appointment was my six week appointment for my braces. So I've officially had my braces for six weeks. And today she changed my wire to a, a thicker wire. Basically, the purpose of my braces right now is to actually bring my teeth outward. So pretty much like my front teeth were fine and then the sides and back of my teeth kind of slanted in like this. So what the braces are doing now is it's just moving my teeth straight like this. And so my next appointment is a little bit over six weeks because I haven't mentioned this in the vlogs yet, but I announcement am actually going to Korea and Japan soon with my family. I'm definitely gonna have some Korea and Japan vlogs in the near future. But I'll also say, my next appointment is right when I get back from that trip. And at that appointment, she's gonna be able to tell me more exact how long I'll have the top braces. Initially, I was told anywhere from like eight to 12 months. And it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have them as long as they said, fingers crossed. So after I get these top braces off, the next step is expanders. Initially, again, I was told the expanders would be about eight months, anywhere from six to eight months. And based on my palette and what needs to happen, she told me today straight up, I'll only have the expanders for about three months. So yay, three months as opposed to eight, like hell yeah. And the faster each of these phases go, the faster I'll be done with all this stuff. Cause I take this shit as a challenge. I will do everything I need to do to make this go faster. But that's the update. <sighs> I appreciate you guys. I know a lot of people aren't dealing with TMJ stuff, so you don't really care to hear about it. But I feel like a lot of you guys just find it kind of interesting, even if you're not dealing with TMJ stuff yourself. And I know it's definitely helpful for people who are dealing with TMJ and are trying to figure out a way to approach getting it fixed. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. Definitely follow me on TikTok too. I have a playlist on TikTok of all my TMJ information. And every time I have an appointment or some kind of update in my TMJ journey, I make a video for TikTok and do an update. So it's all in the playlist if you want to check that out. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I appreciate you guys watching the vlogs, commenting, sharing and it's a really nice beautiful day so i hope you guys are enjoying your week and i will see you guys in the next video bye